Hello, today I'd like to talk about your business and the foundations. And with the foundations, I think the most important place to start is the vision. What is the vision of your business? You know, what are your beliefs, your mission, and what do you want to achieve in the, in the business? What will make you stand out in the crowd? You know, what's your unique selling point? But to derive that, you need to have a strong vision. And you need to visualize that. So it's really important that not only you, but your team and any members, but also in your marketing, that your vision is quite clear. You know, promote interest and commitment. It uh, promotes laser-like focus too, if you keep that vision in mind. Now, the vision may change over time as your business develops and grows, that's fine. But it's important that you actually have that vision in mind so that it gives that strong sense of continuity. You know, it encourages and builds confidence, builds loyalty through, through involvement. Now, some of the vision killers that I see are, are can be a real problem is tradition. You know, we've always done it that way. Now, that can be a problem too because the times change. And if you're not growing and developing, you can be stagnating. It's important that you are moving and looking at for new opportunities all the time because your competitors will be. And if you get left behind, it's so hard to catch up again. That's where that vision and that goal for the future needs to make sure you're adaptable and want to keep moving with the time. Often people are concerned about their vision because there might be fear of ridicule. Well, you know, that's, it's not important. You know, what other people think about you is okay for you to assess and say, yes, how does it help me improve my business or my productivity or what my offer is, but don't be obsessed with it. You know, that's part of your emotional intelligence to understand that, you know, yes, you need to take criticism, but also say, is it positive? What can I learn from that? Is it, is it, is it correct? It may not be at all, but always listen to it from an intelligent point of view, not an emotional point, point of view. You know, often there's stereotypes of people, conditions, you know, roles and governing councils that may affect your, your vision. Don't let it get in the way. You know, and the complacency of some of your stakeholders can also be a problem. And you want that drive and ambition to move your business forward so it grows and develops and it's there for the time. Now, and don't just look at short-term thinking. You know, think of the big goals for the future. Now, some of those goals may be unachievable now, but it's working backwards saying, that's what I'd like to achieve in the future. That's what I'd like to happen. Now, what do I need to start doing now to work towards that long goal? I love big, long, audacious goals because it means you'll strive for that for the future. But it's very important to get that foundation correct. And that vision for the business is so important. You know, a great way is to have some uh, SWOT analysis with your team or friends if you're starting up a business and sit down and talk about what you believe your strengths are, your opportunities, your weaknesses, and your threats. And that way, with the SWOT analysis, you can actually go through and say, okay, where are we now, or where would we like to be in the future? You know, and it's important also when you do your SWOT, I find to, with your team members, allocate different things you've come across in the SWOT to each team member, so they take ownership. And they either have to improve something, or maintain it, or do some more research, or also just measure it. Because once again, as I often talk about, you can't fix something or manage it unless you measure it. It's important to look at measurement as part of this vision for the future too. So if you get that vision right, it actually gives that really good strong foundation to work towards what you can do for the business. And then with the part of the foundation too, it's can, you know, you've got to also look at consistency of service to make sure that you know part of that vision is delivered all the time. And that's by having strong systems so that people understand, to have good scripts, to have good processes. It may just start with a checklist, but that makes a big difference. And eventually the checklist grow into a procedure manual for the whole business. So people know how things work in your business. They don't just make it up. Even the best people sometimes will use their own script or their own way, thinking they're doing the right thing, but they may not understand exactly how you want the business to grow. Sometimes it's an improvement and that's great. You want to encourage that, but there needs to be a good system in place so that when there's a derivation from it, the system changes so it can work well. So with that vision, I think it's 
right back to that, it's so important to have that that your team. And there's no point just doing as part of a business plan or sitting down and, and, sort of, and then putting in the bottom drawer and not doing it again. Often when I walk into businesses, I'll talk about, you know, what's the vision of this business? And sometimes you know, a receptionist or one of the team members might say, oh, that's, that's on the boss's wall. And I'll say, but what is it? And usually they can't tell me. And if I ask them to explain it, then they're really at, at sea. So it's really important that vision is adopted by the whole team so they can live the future. I do a lot of work with that too in helping my clients develop along those lines. So if you'd like to learn more about the vision and about how, how to achieve that and set goals for the future so that it's incumbent in your whole business plan, then get in touch with me. Love to talk to you about it. Thanks so much.